It's an honor for me to welcome you all today to this very significant interaction. Sir, we have here nine officers of the 2014 batch and one officer of the 2013 Indian Trade Service batch. Uh, we are all very privileged to be part of this occasion. For us, this is the th only the third such event. <coughs> Um, and the, for the probationers of the Indian Trade Service who are undergoing professional training currently at the Indian Institute of Foreign Trade, uh, on behalf of them all, I would like to express our gratitude to you, sir, for being gracious enough to give us this opportunity. Sir, you've led the Department of Commerce in the past in your illustrious career, and I don't need to tell you that the Indian Trade Service was formed in 1977. We started recruitment in 85 and the first batch joined in 1986. So these ITS officers undergo their foundation course at one of the national academies and then undergo a nine month uh, probationary training at the Indian Institute of Foreign Trade. And this encompasses their classroom sessions as well as the field visits and the attachments. I welcome you all once again and convey the gratitude of the Department of Commerce, the DGFT and the IIFT for the opportunity to interact with, uh, for our young officers. Thank you, sir. One major improvement in WTO we have and where you can work on strength, there is no weighted voting in the World Trade Organizations. IBRD weighted voting, depending on the shareholding. World Bank, IMA poetic voting, depending on the shareholding. But WTO, one country, one vote. So the competition is also wide. So our objective should be to ensure that the potentialities which we have, not only to export the cheap labor, job market of the world is going to be a great opening for Indian workers because India being the country of the land of oldest civilization is also going to be by 2030 the land of the youngest population. More than 50% of our population would be less than 25 and world's largest number of working people will be living in India. There will be demand. Whole Europe is aging and not only aging, becoming little lazy. They, are, they don't want to do very hard work. If you study the development of which is popularly known as Eurozone crisis, one of the major reasons is that they depend on the resources which are not earned, which are borrowed. And that unnatural situation cannot go on for indefinite period. But we are. We are living on our own resources, not borrowed resources. Europe, they had this in the days of colony, they depended on the exploited resources from the colony. In the post-colonial period, also through various trade arrangements and mechanisms, real transfer of resources took place from the developing countries to the developed countries. But now the developing countries are emerging, and particularly after the financial crisis of 2008, India, despite its growth being going down, 2008-9 we, uh, we did bad, but 9-10, 10-11, 11-12 we recovered. Again, because of the Eurozone crisis, 2012-13, 13-14 it was less, but I am hoping 2014-15 it has been little more, and 15-16 onwards it will start improving. So as India trains service officers with new ideas, 
all the technological tools available to you at your disposal. You will have to play a very positive role in promoting the advancement of our trade, facilitating our export, and also ensuring that there is no irritant obstacles for import. But at the same time, imports is both import and export, international trade should, should flow uninterruptedly. That is, I am talking of the trade facilitation. Various technicalities, nitty gritties will be dealt and they will be, you will be deciding it. Please remember always in any other service, except the public service, you won't get so much opportunity as a young man, which you will have in the public service, in the civil service. The decision-making power is enormous compared to any other sector in the government. I wish you all success and many of you would make mark in your service in contributing the nation building and we are looking for that. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. Sir, there is no doubt that your undeniable mark in shaping the policy of this country will be remembered ever after. And sir, uh, these young uh, trainee officers have the great opportunity to listen to you and to share your vision and your wisdom. Sir, we are extremely grateful that you spared your valuable time to be with us and with your inspiring words, I'm sure they will be quite sort of motivated to perform at their best. Sir, we are indeed grateful to you. And I'm glad, sir, the IFT team uh, in uh, succession have done this uh, very well. And, sir, uh, let me at the end thank the Secretariat of Rashtrapati Bhavad under the leadership of uh, Mr. Rajneesh, uh, who have been very helpful in organizing this function. And, sir, uh, in, in fact, this is the third time, sir, we are coming here. And I am quite sort of, you know, happy that with your blessings and the support from the Secretariat of Rashtrapati Bhavan, this has been thoroughly institutionalized. Sir, I hope this uh, tradition continues and the young officers get inspired with your vision and knowledge. Thank you, sir.